Hey guys, so this past Tuesday was the fourth episode of the second half of the third season of Pretty Little Liars, and the episode was called Out of the Frying Pan into the Inferno. Whatever that means. Okay, Five Bucks says that the James family did not send that package to Emily. Still no word of where Hannah's mom was, but whatever. So it's annoying to me that Byron seems more concerned with Meredith getting help than the fact that she went completely psychosauce on his daughter. I mean, clearly the woman does need some mental help, but as a parent, I just don't think that he's acting pissed off enough. Okay, so maybe this is just me reading too much into things, but did anyone else see that little swan figurine that was in Arya's living room? Swan figurine, black swan, the dress Arya was wearing in that episode. I don't know. Don't even say that you think you should take that key to the cops. Like, you can't be serious. What would that even prove anyway? I could not even with Toby's do-rag. Like, I honestly could not take anything in that scene seriously. Like, what was that, 8 Mile? Like, is he Tobizzle? Spencer, amen, sister friend. If I had a dollar for every time I wanted to say that to a teacher. And poor thing, she is having a meltdown. Like, you can just tell she's about to hit her breaking point. But she does know you don't need scissors to open a frozen dinner. Like, the film on top just peels right off. Okay, I know I'm not the only one who noticed that the girl that Paige was talking to at the club was totally the girl from the Pretty Dirty Secrets little mini-series online. That cannot be good. And who would have guessed she was a lesbian? Not me. Oh my god, if one more person says they need to turn something into the police. No, you don't! Ugh, my goodness, Spencer should win an Oscar for that scene in the car where she's putting her makeup on. It was just so dramatic, and sad, and awesome. Yep, Emily, you're an idiot. Way to give over the notebook to the guy that may just be the beach hottie that knocked up Allie. Way to go. Aria girl, I know you're upset, but don't be selfish. I get that's why you were afraid to tell Ezra in the first place, because you didn't want him to leave, and it might mess up your relationship but he has a son. He needs to have a relationship with his son too. But oh my God, Ezra crying. <sighs> I can't, the feels. Okay, so for my favorite line of the episode, I actually have two that I couldn't choose between. The first one is actually from Allie and it's in that flashback where she's talking to Toby and Toby says like, I know Jenna would love to see her head on a stick. And then Allie goes, Jenna would be pretty happy to see anything I imagine. And the second one is from Hannah's mom and it's where she says, what's a pink drink? Is that code for something gay? Alright guys, that's it for this week's review. I know this one was kind of short, but there really just wasn't a whole lot to talk about with this episode. I've noticed that whenever there's a really good, eventful episode, like the one we had last week, the one right after it is usually not really that great. Almost like they're taking a breather from how crazy the last one was or something. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So, I will see you guys next Friday. Remember, I moved the reviews to Fridays. So, I will see you all then. Bye! Cause two can keep a secret if one of them is dead.